Okay guys, uh, as promised you tonight's uh, unboxing, it's going to be on the new Mankung Alligator. No standard stuff. Um, no obvious claims on the packaging to the power of the bowl. So now we're going to open up. The latch of the handle is very good. A good firm locker. All have a slight side to side play, no matter who makes it. The grip has been updated as well with the pivot. is a is a bigger pivot through the grip, and these have been updated as well. You cannot put this handle onto the Polang prophecy uh, prophecy uh, prophecy or Cobra. Front grip and rails been updated is now fully integrated. Before you had to screw your Picatinny rail in here to get the pivot from the front. Um, I'll probably still do the same. I'll use, use bigger bolts to extend the Picatinny rail all the way forward and fix it through here as well. Because I like a nice long leverage for when I put the 90 pound bowl limb in, which I will do. Okay, let's switch back over the camera. Hi right, guys. Some of you, if not all, you'll be away by now thanks to the excellent and pioneering work by Jorg Sprav. Um, and his extensive development of possible technology in recent years, he's managed to improve the systems no end. Now the new alligator comes with an 80 pound limb as standard. Now a few years back, it said 80 pound on boxes and as we all later discovered, there was all about 50, 55 pounds and it was a load of lies. Thanks to George, George's excellent work, um, they are now exactly what it says on the tin. So when you buy your Mankung alligator with the new 80 pound limb, um, it's identical to the 80 pound limbs, which I sell in the kits from Mankung as well. So I know they are guaranteed. This is one of the old 50 pound limbs. If I put it, put it inside, as you can see, is less recurve in the limbs as well. And physically, smaller in size line the limbs up on the bottom so there's the bottom there you can see is actually smaller in size smaller in width less recurve and a smidge smaller on the tips etc go that way around you can actually see it better anyway by the way back to the back to the mango so the stock is adjustable and um, it's nice I like it Two Allen keys here to extend the stock to where you want it. It is not uh, a quick removal stock like the M16 stock on the Steamboat or the Yak um, Terminator 3. All right, I come back. Battery is about to die. So yeah, so if you you do want a Steamboat but you can't afford to go all out, or the Yak Terminator 3 can't afford to go all out for a top the range kit at the moment. It is a modular system. They are interchangeable. Um, you can buy the Steamboat stock adapter separate. I think it's about uh, 80 pounds at the moment. And update it to the M16 stock. That is completely doable. If you want to upgrade, upgrade to the magazine system, you can do it. It's completely doable. You can even modify it to take the quick release bow exchange system as well. It is all doable because it uses the same chassis. The steam bow is this chassis just cut off here. So it's all doable. Um, myself, I would leave this on because it gives you um, extra prod protection when don't you put it down on the ground. You're not gonna hit the magazine at least when you put it on. So I would leave the old, this is, this is a leftover from the old um, Cobra. Um, this is no longer really needed with the, with the new, new systems. But like I said, I intend to do the rail here. I'm gonna extend it forward and put a couple more screws in to, as I can fit a longer Picatinny. Um, right, I'm gonna assemble it now and uh, I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, crossbow is now assembled. And as you can see here, um, I got the grip Put the other way around. This isn't as it's shown on the picture of the box, it's shown it leaning backwards. As I discovered, when it's this way, it makes it quite awkward 
when uh, you're cocking it. You, you're bringing your, your cock in right back to you. Where it makes more sense because you can grip it there and just fold it straight. So I, su I suggest when you're assembling your pistol crossbow, put the grip the other way around. You find it makes a lot more sense and more comfortable. You've still got room behind to put your quiver. Um, this is um, one of Mike's excellent quivers from a weapon collector. Um, links will be down below. Um, so, so you've still got room to put your accessories on. And like I said, if you extend your Picatinny rail out and attach it to you, you can still fit your, your torch and fishy, fishing gear as well, all on one Picatinny rail. Right, fitting the bowstring, it will take two of you. Um, I myself, you can see through here, you've got a hole. I fed through there an old bowstring and use a bolt to put through as a foot stirrup to hold it down. And then use one of my uh, crossbow halter strings, a stringer, to string it. So you're one foot through the stirrup, two hands on the string, because you ain't gonna do it with one hand. And then you will need an assistant to push your string over there. In my case, I was lucky, uh, my mother was around, and she was giving me, giving me a hand just by putting her on. But I'm a big bloke, and I struggled. You need half a dozen limbs. You need one foot through the stringer, because um, you can't push down and bend the limb back and put it over. I tried. Um, it felt like I was going to break the stock. Um, so it takes a hell of a lot of effort to put this on. Now, when I fitted the 90 pound limb, to my prophecy, if you look here, you've got proper notches for a, for the correct size stringer with the Steamboat 90 pound upgrade kit, which is excellent. Um, there's only a few pounds more. The 80 pound kit doesn't come with the, the extra notches to take the stringer, but when you fit in your notches, Make sure they go the one way around because if this little nodule here is facing the side, it'll rub into your string. So that's uh, one first tip, make sure that's on the right way. Don't fit these before you put the, the limb through. It won't fit through the prod. Um, other things, stock adjustment. It uses a, a, a Picatinny style adjustment, nut and bolt. Two nuts, two bolts. You can't just pull it out, set where you want, um, and away to go. It doesn't work like that. Because the bolts go straight through these notches, um, it's not a, a pull and move goal. So once you get you set it to the size you want, refit the nuts and bolts, and that's it. Luckily, however, there is an upgrade available. Um, available from Steamboat, or Yak for the Terminator 3. The M16 style stock adapter will fit straight to these. I think they're about 80 pounds at the moment. So if you want to start with one of these for about 45 pounds and upgrade it slowly as you go along, as you've got the funds, you can do it. So it's a great entry system into getting yourself a steamboat. I would recommend first going for the 90 pound steamboat upgrade. Is a video I got on doing that. The next, I would go for the magazine. And then I would go for the M16 stock adapter last, and then anything else. But first thing, get that grip on either right way around, not turn around, because imagine, imagine this is turn around the other way, so your hand is back here, you're losing about six to eight inches of leverage. So to me, it makes more sense to have it that way around. You could put a, a, a vertical grip in instead of this. Um, I think it's shown wrong on the box I was fitted. It looks aesthetically more pleasing with a grip the other way around on the box. This way makes more common sense to use. Because when it's like that, release the magazine and you've got the leverage. If this is right back here facing the other way, your, your arm muscles are turning the wrong way. It makes it harder, I tried it. Whereas the arm facing that way, it gives you more leverage, and much more leverage, much better control. Uh, the sights are excellent, fibre optic as mentioned, on a ramp system much greatly improved, the trigger is greatly improved. Um, lubrication, right, you will discover um, it's quite tight, because the 80 pound rail and the same ancient cocking system. 
Get yourself some 10 point real lube. No wax, proper oil. Couple of drops on your reel. Couple of it in the, uh, the running reels for the cocking arms. And we'll make it much, much easier to cock this pistol. Wax your string as normal. And make sure you use some uh, height or 10 point rail loom on the, the top of the system. And it'll greatly improve your enjoyment. Also a couple of drops in the trigger sear itself on the pivot, not the sear. Um, just confirm, uh, pivot, not sear. And this makes this um, budget crossbow into a very, very affordable, enjoyable tool. And like I said, and as you get the money, you can upgrade as you go. The Steambow Mighty Put Upgrade Kit is about, around about uh, £45, I think, depending where you get it from. You can get a magazine now. I got one, an excellent one coming from Germany for about uh, 70 euros. Um, and then, of course, if you want to do any really must fit the M16 stock, um, they are available as well. So you can bring it up to full Steambow spec. Um, in the end, it will probably comparatively cost the same amount of money because I think they're about £280 now. But when you buy the basic bow for about uh, £50, around £50 for a bow limb, so it's £100, £100 for a magazine, or £70 for a 3D printed magazine if you'd rather buy one and print one. So you're told about £170 there. Stock, stock adapter, you're still about £250. But you're not forking it out in one go. You can still modify it as well to take a quick release bowling system. You literally just cut through the top of the riser, a rail, take about three millimeters off the front in depth, fire it down. And there's a great video which I'll set, which Steambow have done themselves to show me how to do that modification. Um, next up, we'll be see you doing a head to head with the prophecy. Hopefully, the weather's good. And put in the one pistol crossbow against the other the last generation versus the latest generation one last quick mention um, why I like these is a single piece trigger unit sear most of the crossbows these days are a multi-linkage trigger unit excellent quality triggers fantastic especially the horizon and the red back with these however if it breaks you can quickly make yourself a replacement out of a piece of um, laminated board and a steel pin through and you've got yourself a replacement trigger <coughs> with the multi shot uh, multi adjustable trigger units multi sear trigger units not so possible okay guys thanks bye bye